So, quite the altercation uh, in this uh, taco store. Um, so, as you've just read, uh, a shocking incident where a young teen, or teenage daughter and her mother complained about the tacos they had been given uh, in a fast food restaurant and were treated terribly. Um, they were burned with boiling hot water. The mother ended up having a seizure. Um, the, uh, the younger lady was uh, traumatized by the incident. The staff were seen taunting these uh, two women. Um, and it, it turned into a, a sort of horrific uh, incident. And now, of course, quite rightly, they are suing. And uh, a very famous lawyer. Uh, is going to be representing them. So we can assume they will have a fighting chance of sorting things out uh, uh, in a firm and fair way. Yes, yes, yeah. That I think the shocking part is, you know, of course the yelling and everything, but like throwing scalding hot water, why? <sighs> like it doesn't make sense. I know it was in a more dangerous part of the neighborhood, but it still doesn't make sense to attack um, customers who are not uh, threatening in a, in, a, in a more physical way. And mm. from what I can tell, they weren't threatening too much in a verbal way either, mm. according to the article, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I don't know. It's, it's a strange situation, especially since it's usually the other way around. Mm, yes, mm. normally we're reading articles about yeah. difficult customers, you know, making throwing their weight around. Yeah. Um, oh, but this time it was the customer that got yeah. more than they bargained for. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Now, in America, drive throughs are absolutely everywhere. It, you know, to have a restaurant, you need a drive through mm -hmm. You know, maybe in bigger cities like New York, not so much. But anywhere else, it's just like, it's like a requirement. It's just a natural thing to have. What about the UK? Because I know in Korea, not so much. Yeah, in the UK, it, mm -hmm. it definitely we didn't have any at all for a long mm -hmm. time. I remember it being a sort of exciting thing in the the late 90s or early 2000s that the first sort of American style drive through McDonald's would open and me and my family we didn't even like McDonald's but we wanted to go to see this drive through and just have this experience of like reaching out the window for the food and it felt so exciting so and I think even today it's mm -hmm. just a few fast food restaurants that have it wow yeah and that's it yeah it was a, it's, it's a really American experience and um it it definitely grew up from the or appeared from the highways that were built and the necessity for quick meals. Um, and we're thinking like 70s, and, you know, that type of era. Mm -hmm. uh, people were, you know, running in, running out, running in, running out. And then a couple restaurants just said, hey, why don't we just bring it out to you? Mm -hmm. And then it just kind of evolved from there very quickly. Mm. Now, I mean, it must yeah. be a concept or a result of being a big country. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of driving. You need a car. And if you're in your car, you don't want to get out and in so much. And mm -hmm. so, Going through a quick, getting a quick meal through a drive through is kind of mm -hmm. really, really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Convenience. Yeah. Given the choice, would you rather pick food up at the restaurant or have it delivered? Like, surely there must be pros and cons to both methods. There are pros and cons. Um, there are pros and cons for either one. I think the biggest one is price. Mm -hmm. If you go for pickup, it's going to be way cheaper. I shouldn't say way cheaper, but uh, significantly cheaper mm -hmm. than if you have it delivered. There's no delivery fee and there's often actually discounts for pickup. Oh. They don't want you sitting in the restaurant and they don't want to pay the delivery driver. So if you do the delivery yourself and you're not taking up a table, then sometimes they give discounts, especially for pizza. Yes. Um, I was going to say, yeah. I do that here in yeah. Korea because mm -hmm. I feel like if I actually walk to go and get the pizza, I don't feel quite as guilty if I'm actually eating it. So. <sighs> The um, exercise. The ex because of the exercise. It. Um, plus it gets me, I think Domino's is something like 20% off. Yeah, it's, it's insane sometimes. It's reasonable. Yeah, it's a, and it makes it. me insane because I <laughs> will deliver it even though it's near my house, 20% off. And I will deliver it because I am what you call lazy. And once I enter my house, I don't want to leave. I. Fair. It's so, I don't want to say annoying, but just bothersome. Mm -hmm. I can't be bothered to try, like put on the shoes, walk around where there's people, mm -hmm. you know, go to an actual place, pick it up, carry it home. It's like, I'd rather pay the fee to have it delivered and be more comfortable. And so even though the pros are so large, the pro of delivery is it's ease, it's ease of, of, of your life. Mm -hmm. It's comfort, it's time uh, management. I get to have an extra 20 minutes to do what I want mm -hmm. rather than having to walk, so. I choose that side. 
That's a fair choice, John. I think for hard-witting people such as ourselves, yeah. we deserve a little convenience. And, it, and then you look at your bank account, and you're like, I really should walk to there. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, it's, yeah. I don't look at my bank yeah. account. I just, oh, gosh, ah, the dress yes. is too tight. Damn, yes. I should have walked <laughs> to get the pizza. <laughs> 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 and then walk to the other side of the city to go get the pizza. Yes, now I've got to pick one that's yeah. a pizza shop that's further away. A little bit further away. <laughs> to wow. justify the galleries. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, sad but true, sad mm. but true. Um, although I, I do quite like the fact you can get almost anything delivered in Korea. It's yeah. not just the fast foods. Because yeah. in England, there's, there's I think maybe it's yeah. getting better because the pandemic has forced it to get yeah, better. Yeah. But um, when I was living there, you couldn't get um, healthy food Exactly. conveniently yeah. uh, delivered to your yeah. door, which I thought was terrible. It was almost the same for America. Healthy food was extremely expensive for delivery and rare. Mm -hmm. And then after the pandemic, it was just anything, everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Everything. But in Korea, you can, and when I say anything, everything, I mean anything and everything will come to your door within two days. Mm -hmm. And it's, now if you're ordering a foreign product, of course not if it has to ship overseas, but anything in Korea, Anything you can dream of and think of, it is delivered. Mm -hmm. I do love Korea. <sighs> Delivery speed. <sighs> Excellent service, Korea. Well done. Excellent. We Top give job. you two thumbs up. Yes. Let's take a closer look at some of the vocabulary we've met in this article. See you next time. Bye. Altercation. Altercation. Sort things out. Sort things out. Scalding hot. Scalding hot. Seizure. Seizure. Minor. Minor.